Okay, friends, it's that time again. If you've been paying attention, you would see on the Creality YouTube and you would see in your email this morning, Creality has a new printer on the way. And it's not what you were expecting. I know a lot of you are waiting patiently for the CFS to be released for your K1, K1 Max, K1C. And I know V3 owners are kind of wanting that to happen as well. But instead, it looks like Creality has been secretly very busy and are dropping a Bamboo A1 competitor. I know some people will be disappointed and others will be the opposite of disappointed because a lower priced entry to the Creality ecosystem involving Multicolor and their brand new CFS, not a CFS Lite, mind you, the full-blown CFS that's compatible with the K2 Plus and the new Creality High Combo is actually quite interesting and should be welcomed by Creality users. Of course, it's going to come down to how well this thing works. Unfortunately, Creality keeps me on a tight leash when it comes to helping them hype up a new product in the early stages. I'm not sure why the leash is so tight, but they're a ship, they're the captains, and I'm just the first mate. Maybe the second mate. So, unfortunately, I cannot show you what is underneath this wrapping right here, which may be a Creality High Combo, or perhaps it's just a bunch of empty boxes. Who knows? However, while I'm not allowed to show you what may or may not be underneath this wrapping right here, we can have a look at what Creality has made public so far, and that would be an email sent out this morning. Let's pop over to the computer and check it out. If you are on Creality's email list, you will have gotten this email today, and it does introduce the Creality High Combo. You will see it is an A1-like bed slinger with a full-blown CFS next to it. Of course, an A1 bed slinger is basically a multicolor ender bed slinger. So we won't go and spin around in this circle of who copied who. This is a very nice looking Creality bed slinger of which Creality has been making for many, many, many years. Scrolling down, you will see the price, 469, very interesting. Again, a Bamboo AMS is $350. Coming in at $4.69, you're getting the entire combo for a little bit more than a full-blown AMS. I compare this to a full-blown AMS because the A1 combo comes with the AMS Lite. However, my intention here is not to compare one to the other, but to just demonstrate Creality is being aggressive with the pricing. And assuming this printer works well, this appears to be a very good deal. Scrolling down, you'll see some of the typical bullet points of newer printers included here as well in the high combo. Automatic bed leveling, automatic Z offset, pressure advanced tuning, and of course, compatibility with Creality's new RFID filament. This picture right here shows the high combo is in fact compatible with four CFS, just like its big brother, the K2 Plus. That means 16 color printing. We will see what the new tool head is like. It does look like a new tool head. This does not look like a V3, CR10SE, K1, or K2 Plus tool head. It looks like another iteration of the Creality tool head. I would be a little bit sus on this if it wasn't for the fact that Creality's tool head does continue to improve. The K2 Plus tool head is easier to disassemble and easier to work with than the K1 and previous Creality printers. Therefore, I'm hoping that the high combo will continue that trend and create yet another iteration of an easy to work with tool head. Let's go ahead and click the Explore Features button. This takes us to the Creality website where they do in fact have a video of the high combo and they do actually show it working. So this is a complete, fully functional version of the printer here in this video. You will notice that it does have a built-in camera because they just showed a little bit of a time lapse. This is actually a really cool shot because they're doing the time lapse with people in front of it. 
Creality's commercial shooting has improved exponentially recently. I'm not sure if they hired a company to do this or not, but they've been putting out some really fun promotional videos. Notice on this video, the CFS are sitting on this two-tier rack. I am going to want to get my hands on this rack and find out what it is, what it's all about, how much it costs, where it comes from, because it looks very, very nice. I don't know if this is something Creality is going to sell or if this is a generic product from Home Depot or Amazon or something like that. Let's scroll down. This is a closer look at what we just saw in the email. And they are promoting really high speeds. I do feel Creality tends to push the speed in their profiles and push the speed in their marketing. I don't doubt that the high combo can do 500 MMS, but I doubt that you will want to do 500 MMS on the majority of your prints. I find slowing printers down increases your success rate, increases the quality, and increases the life of the printer. I do believe a lot of extruder jams people are having is due to people simply printing way too fast all the time. Speaking of extruders, it looks like the extruder is mounted here in the back of the tool head with an interesting lock perhaps mechanism right here. I'm really not sure. I haven't had a chance to have a close look at the machine yet. That will be happening very soon. Very pleased to see 95% pre-assembled. If you go back and look at my older videos, assembling an ender was a big to-do. Now, it looks like we're gonna pull this thing out of the box, snap a couple of pieces together, and be ready to get to making. That's very cool, and I'm really excited that the industry has gone this way. Here is a closer look at the high combo with four AMSs attached. In this picture, I can't quite see how they are stacking all four. I don't see the shelving shown above in this video here. And they're putting text over the printer, which is driving me a little bit nuts. Hands off experience, all the best while hands off, blah, blah, blah. Easy start, easy from assembly to print. I do believe this. The K2 Plus and the V3s are very easy to build and put together. Quality build, we'll see advanced extruder here's a closer look at this rear mounted extruder i'm not entirely sure what we're looking at here i'll be getting mine out of the box and taking it apart to see what's going on but they're claiming the latest techs for capable extrusion 500 millimeter speed yeah we know super fast blah 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 again let's not go crazy with speed guys let's bring things down what's interesting is this thing right here I was expecting to see linear rails or something similar. And we have this gigantic thing right here that I suppose has rails or rods in it. We'll have a closer look at that. Updated software, Creality OS profoundly evolved. In other words, the high combo is running Creality's version of Clipper, which I have no problem with. And it's great to see this advanced new OS on their latest high combo. Of course, they are talking about Creality Print 6 right here with their all new user interface, blah, 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 blah. We will be working with Creality Print 6 a lot more here on the channel to see how it is coming along. And of course, Creality Cloud compatibility. I do believe Creality Cloud is much underloved and underappreciated. It is a very nice system for storing your models, remote monitoring, sending prints to your printers, organizing your models, downloading time-lapse files, and doing all sorts of other things, including interacting with other Creality users. Creality has really stepped up their game. There was a time when Creality updated the firmware to their printers once every ice age, and we had a look to strangers on the internet in order to update our firmware using their versions because Creality's was so outdated. The same goes with their slicer. For a long time, Creality's slicer was an outdated version of Cura, and on no planet would anyone recommend to anyone to go ahead and use it. However, that has changed. Creality Print 5 and now Creality Print 6 finally bring Creality a competent slicer that is coming along really well. It's probably still in third place when it comes to modern slicers. 
which is Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer. However, the fact that their slicer is in the conversation at all is a huge step forward for Creality, and I congratulate them for making the effort to fix two of their biggest problems in their ecosystem, which is falling behind on firmware updates and having an incompetent slicer. Creality has made tremendous progress on both those fronts, and I commend them for that. Then, of course, they talk about RFID filament. This is a really big deal. This is something you should be excited about. And this is the future of 3D printing. That is having printers that know what filament is installed on them and then can use the information provided by the company to configure the profile in order to get the best results with that filament. I look forward to both Bamboo, Creality, as well as other companies working more with RFID tagged filament and hopefully eventually getting closer to some kind of standard where different brands of filament can have these RFID tags and the printer can read those tags and create a profile based on the information provided. Here are the specifications. You will notice something very nice. The print volume on this printer is quite big. 260 by 260 by 300. This is bigger than I expected, and if the Creality High Combo printer turns out to perform well, the improved build size over some of its competitors will prove to be a strong selling point. It also comes with the usual suspects, lighting, tangle detection, runout sensor, camera, touchscreen, Wi-Fi, etc., etc., etc. So there it is. Creality has a multicolor CFS bed slinging printer on the way. This is very clearly a direct competitor to the Bamboo Lab A1. And I personally welcome this over shoehorning the CFS into older model printers. I know many of you want this to happen and bought printers such as the K1 specifically under the belief that you would be getting color. I do expect this will happen as promised. However, I do think building printers from the ground up for the CFS is a smart move by Creality. I'm impressed to see how quickly they can develop these newer printers and bring them to market. By the end of 2025, Creality will have gone from zero multicolor printers to a large bed, fully enclosed multicolor printer and a smaller, lower priced entry level multicolor bed slinging printer. It's a beautiful time to enter 3D printing. All companies are firing on all cylinders and bringing out the best in each other. Super excited to see what the Creality High Combo brings to the table, how well it works, and what it's going to mean for us 3D printer owners going forward. When Creality gives me the green light, I will lift this sheet and we will find out. Of course, as you know, Rather than bring you reviews with my opinion, I will bring you informational, tutorial, instructional, and service videos to help those of you who have the printer get the very best experience with it, as I have done for all printers before it. However, if the printer turns out to be really great, I will be sure to let you know. And if the printer turns out to suck shit, I will also be sure to let you know. However, I generally avoid negative content. You will know if I don't like the printer based on whether or not I tell you I like the printer or whether or not you continue to see the printer make appearances on my channel. I'm super curious to see which way the wind blows and the first bed slinger in a long time with a new name. I'm very happy this isn't the Ender 3 version 4 CFS Plus Max Ultimate Turbo Championship Edition Volume 2. They've gone with a new name. It's a little silly, but I do like the playful sound of it and the fact that it does kind of make 3D printing feel like fun, which, in my opinion, it truly is. I'm curious what you guys think, and we'll see what the future brings for Creality and their newest entry into multicolor 3D printing.